Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So this is a secret to fuller lips over 70. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. All right, so I don't want you to get stuck on over 70. I read an article about Helen Marin. She's 77. Her makeup artist is sharing some tricks with us today on a couple different things, and I thought it was going to be really beneficial for you. So I just took off my lipstick just now, actually, because I was like, well, let me start from the beginning. Also, I know I have fuller lips. You've seen my mother on my Fierce Aging series. You've seen my dad sometimes on my Instagram who make a couple of little appearances. I have full lips from the time I was a child. So it, do it doesn't matter if my lips are full. It's education, it's technique, so we can hold the comments about how I have full lips and that's why it works, that's not true. So this is all about showing you what will work for you if you follow these steps. Okay, so we're going to do a couple things first. We're going to prime our lips. We, we know that we lose our collagen and elastin as we age. I know we're so tired of hearing about it. <laughs> I'm so tired of reading about that. I'm like, I know, I know. So our subdermal layer is compromised with our lips. So they do, they start getting thinner. They start to kind of deflate. My aunt said on the Fierce Aging series, my Aunt Nancy was like, Nikki, why are my lips having a white border? Where are they going? Why are they getting so thin? So this is a real issue. So I thought that this article was really great and I love learning from other makeup artists and when they're working with women over 70s and 80s and 90s, it's really great. So we first can prime with our, lip, uh, our eye and lip primer. This is my eye and lip primer. You can do a neutral lip, you can prime your lip, you can go in with an invisible lip liner. This is wonderful. If you don't have one of these, you need to pick one up because if you have that feathering, if you find your lipstick starting to kind of migrate outside your lip line, this is a wonderful pencil to get. It's a lip pencil and you basically apply it just right a little bit above your lip line and it's gonna hold everything in on your lips. So this is a really great game changer. You can literally like fill in those little lines that are going up that we don't love. So this is a wonderful thing to be able to do. The big trick is you're going to not grab your lip liner. You're going to grab a brow pencil. I know, sounds so weird, right? So hang with me because you don't want to judge it yet. <laughs> it is a little bizarre. I was like, okay, what? You want to go into the blonde, dark blonde, taupe family when it comes to the brow pencil. Don't go really dark. This is all about being light. It's all about being a shadow, okay? I mean, granted, it already does look like a little mustache when we do it, but I'm gonna show you how this technique comes together. So I have my skinny brow pencil in taupe right here, and I am going to just give, a, like I'm applying it a tiny bit above the lip line, okay? So the whole idea is to create that shadow. I talk to you a lot here on the channel about color theory. So let's take, for instance, when we do our eyeshadow, you know, when we do the contour color, the darker color, say in like this, the darkest color here, and we want to create depth. So we're going to add the darker color on, maybe we want to do it just in the crease, or maybe we'll do a little triangle that recedes back. The darker color is going to recede back, just like when we put on a bronzer. What are we trying to do there? We're trying to create cheekbones. We're trying to recede that area. Maybe you have a very round face and you're trying to create more angles. That's how you're going to do that. That's why we put highlighter on the high parts of our cheeks, right? Because we want that to come forward. So same thing with this technique. I am going to be putting this little taupe color on my lip line like this. So it's going to create a shadow. It's going to push the lip forward. So you can do this just on the top part of the lip, wherever you really want to create that kind of more of that um, lip coming forward, giving that more of a, that defined look. So that's what I'm going to do first, just like this. So you're going to want to just 
kind of work it into the skin so it's more of a blended look but you're going to see how it does give that definition and it gives that kind of puffiness to the lip i like the fact that i had a little freckle down here and i got to connect it and it now just like blends nicely so don't get you're going to feel very weird when you do it yes yeah, so it'll be like a little mustache you know you can you can go into my little my little worlds of having a little mustache all the time being greek and you know fighting with the wax all the time and what have you but you know listen this is these are great techniques you play around as much as you want to when you are thinking about you know what i want to i want to just have my lips look a little bit more you know fuller how do i do that you know what let's go in with let's go in with a just like a little nice pinky so i have this nice little kind of defined i'm gonna put on some chanel 91 and go right up to the end of where i put that now if you find it to be a little too much right there you can just bring it down a little bit play with it ladies it doesn't it doesn't have to be work the first time and you're like oh my gosh that looks terrible or oh i kind of like it i think we need to experiment we need to just kind of really enjoy the process enjoy these extra little things now she also talked about how helen likes to use castor oil she uses on her eyebrows on her eyelashes on her hair this is really great for growth for natural hair growth yes it takes a lot longer than other products that are out on the market but she is invested in putting on the castor oil i know a lot of you ladies do like the castor oil and you do use it another thing she talked about was using lipstick as blush we just recently talked about this in one of my videos so this is going to really give you that beautiful flush look i gotta see if i can find you know what let's just use the same let's just use the same um lipstick that i just did this is going to give me that little rosiness to the cheek so she uses this on helen to give her that beautiful flush look again cream blush is definitely a major yes for mature women you can use your lipstick so you can get it double time you're kind of going in with the same kind of look right you're staying in the same color family you can make sure you can shear it out don't worry if it feels like it's too much right when you put it on because as the day goes on it is going to obviously settle out and it's not going to be as bright so i'm going to leave you with a quote helen had said in this article and i think it's really a great takeaway it's really something to just think about and when you're feeling kind of like a little bummed out for whatever reason when it comes to age or what you see in the mirror what have you think about this quote she said, my only beauty secret is don't get fixated on one. What tends to happen is that people get fixated on their current age, whether that is 22 or 52. Then they try to look like that even as they get older, but that's not possible. Don't stop yourself from experimenting with your look. Play with the mascara or ditch it. Swipe your red lipstick or pink. So that's just with this little technique. So you're using a brow pencil to define the lips and to give that shadowing and to hopefully give you a more poutier look. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, we're experimenting, we're playing, we're having a good time. We're trying to figure out what's gonna work for us. One of my tips, ladies, that I've showed you, over the years hopefully has worked for you hopefully you feel good about yourself oh gosh i didn't know i could use my lipstick as my cheeks i can't believe that that's so simple or wow i can connect my cupid's bow and i can have a fuller looking lip oh interesting i might try that one night or i kind of like that look for special occasions whatever it is we are here to really have fun with makeup we're here to play it is really like you're in an art class and you happen to be the canvas and it's just something that is really special you should be really excited and happy that you can do this and set aside those negative feelings that you have that come up when you start doing this where you're like oh i'm so excited and then you look in the mirror and you're like yeah well and then you start going on that negative roll oh my nose my this my that my skin we don't want to do that we want to give ourselves that time to be able to enjoy our beauty because that's what we have, right? We have this moment, we have our face, we're able to, we're able to do this. So this is what we need to concentrate on. So it's not about the negativity and about what you think you should be looking like. It's about embracing all of these products that are going to just have you feel a certain way. And that's my wish for you. I want, I, I, this quote is so wonderful. It's like, don't get stuck on an age or on a number or what have you. 
Like, think about that. I mean, it's just so, it's just so trivial. Like, think about what is in front of you and what you have and what you can offer to everybody and to yourself. So until my next video, ladies, I'll see you later.